So welcome to another BW Tech Bright and Early. This morning, I have the great pleasure of speaking with Dean Rock of Steel Toad Consulting. Good morning, Dean. Hi, Megan. Good morning. So about a year and a half ago, Steel Toad uh, came to BW Tech and um, started a company. Can you tell us what your company does and um, what your goals are? Sure. So uh, Steel Toad, we um, have really two lines of business. We are um, in the federal contracting space, um, but we also provide um, and work with commercial companies, uh, federal integrators who are providing uh, quality management standard, you know, around, um, you know, ISO, CMMI and CMMC. So really two, two lines of business. We're, we're really in the services industry, um, supporting federal, state and local customers. So what kind of training do you do? What is the, what is the ISO and the CMMC um, modules? Can you tell us about those? <clears throat> Sure. So, um, you know, a, a lot of companies at this time, you know, uh, based off of the, the pandemic are really looking to become more competitive um, and increase their capabilities and maturities inside their organization. And so whether it's uh, implementing inside their company, reinventing their company around uh, quality management standards and, and ensuring uh, better quality and, and efficiency inside their organization. And then we all know uh, with, uh, if you're going to be working in the uh, DOD space, the cybersecurity maturity model certification, CMMC, is also going to be kind of a, a, a must requirement for any federal integrators uh, to obtain. And so Steel Toad was just recently awarded a um, C3PAO, which always reminds me of Star Wars. <laughs> yes, uh, Certified Third Party Organizational Assessor Organizations, I guess C3PAO, something to that effect. So we were selected as one of the first companies to go through the official uh, training. So we are um, now uh, Certified Provisional Assessors. Um, the accreditation board selected really 75 companies um, um, out of uh, the poll to go through that. So we are actually number 43. We've gone through all of the um, training through reg for a registered practitioner and certified provisional assessors. We are right now able to provisionally assess companies up through maturity level three for CMMC. So what other opportunities are you finding? Is there a shift within the government towards certain, you know, protocols or certain, you know, projects that you haven't seen in the past? Well, well cyber is a big one, right? Everyone, you know, everybody right now is, is what I like to say is trying to protect what they already have, right? And that's kind of what CMMC is, right? Protecting all of the assets, data assets, IT assets that you currently have in place. But also, as, as we know, there's big pushes for, you know, cloud migrations. Um, you know, the federal government wants to get out of the data center business, right? They, you know, they want to concentrate on what they, that they do well and uh, running data centers and so being able to move a lot of their IT systems um, to cloud services um, it is also a, a, an area that's uh, pretty hot um, right now. <clears throat> I think the next revolution here is going to be all around managing data um, and just you know having core um, uh, data management practices inside your organization. At the end of the day, the most common denominator uh, as us as federal integrators is we're managing the government's data. And so, you know, what are your best practices and what are your processes and how you manage data? I think once we get through protecting and CMMC, I think there'll be a big push to, uh, you know, data maturity and data, uh, data management capabilities inside of uh, organizations. So Dean, this was fantastic to get a chance to catch up with you today and um, so great to see your face. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us this morning. Well, thank you, Megan. Good to see your face too, so thank you.